So hello to everyone out there. My name is Andrea, just to give you a little bit of background. I own a Glowforge Pro, which I love. I've had it now for only about a month. But something that I struggled with and that I haven't seen any videos out there on what or how to do it is how to use Cricut Design Space to create your files. So for us Cricut users, we don't want to learn a new program. We don't want to have to buy Silhouette. We want to be able to use our files that we've already created for our vinyl and convert them into an SVG that works in Glowforge. So if anybody's tried it out there, they might have run into the issue where it's only a bitmap and it doesn't truly convert to an SG SVG and therefore you can only engrave the image. So I'm going to show you guys a trick on how to use your Cricut Design Space and be able to convert that into a usable SVG using Inkscape as well to then go ahead and use that as a usable image in your Glowforge programming. All right, so here's just a simple ornament that I've created in my Cricut Design Space. Um, as you can see, everything's welded together, it's ready to go, but if I were to save this just as a JPEG and try to pull it up in my Glowforge um, Dust our app, it's not going to let me cut. It's only going to give me the option to engrave. So just a heads up, I am on a Windows 10 computer. Um, I'm not on a, an Apple tablet. So if you're using a tablet, I don't know what the options are, but I'm sure this will help still. Um, but again, I am a Windows user. So what you got to do first is your image has to be a solid image to cut. So if you have it where your image is maybe an outline like that, it's going to cut on the outside of the line and the inside of the line, giving you this funky thing. So first off, get your image. Best thing to do is put it in a solid color, so, um, like black. Black is your best color. Don't use any other color besides black. Something else to note is for mine, this is going to be engraved into it. All right. So what I'm doing first is I have to upload my base image into Inkscape, convert it, and then I'll come back to these guys here and show you how to convert those. All right, now down to the fun part. So once you have your image that you want, it's all black, you have your solid cutout of what you want, you're gonna hit Shift Windows S. It's gonna pop up with this little box up here and a little cross on your screen. All you do is click your mouse and I need to do that again. So shift Windows S, you're going to click your mouse. You want your total image in this box. Once it does that, it's going to say it's snipped it to the clipboard. All right. So now that we have it snipped to the clipboard, we can go ahead and go to Inkscape and start converting it to an SVG. All right. Now we have our, we open up Inkscape. I just have a blank document. There's nothing here. You're just going to right click with your mouse and hit paste. Now you'll see it pulled over whatever I snipped from design space is now in my Inkscape. Well, we can't just do save it from here. We have to do a couple of steps. The first step is you're going to go to path. You're going to go to trace bitmap and it's going to pull up with edge detection. So you're going to go under single scan and you're going to go to brightness cutoff. Leave it right where it is at 0.45, two specs, one smooth, and 0.2 optimized. Hit update. So now what it's going to do is it's going to look for your edge. You're going to hit OK. All right. So it's not going to close out for you. you got to close it out. Once you do that, you're now going to have two images in Inkscape. Move your top image away and delete your bottom end image. The bottom image is your base image that you copied over. That will not work. We need this top image. All right, so now we got the top image. We are almost there. We're going to go ahead and go path back to path and object to path. Again, it's going to seem like it does nothing, but it does. It does do something. Trust me. Don't skip that step. Go to file. Go to save as. I'm going to type in. This is for a customer with the last name Molina. I'm going to type Molina. Make sure you select the second one, plain SVG and hit save. All right, so now you've got a usable image in uh, that you can use for Glowforge, and I'll show you what to do once you get in Glowforge.
All right, now we're in Glowforge. Please don't mind my picture on here. I just finished doing some ornaments with an amazing file that I purchased off of Etsy. Um, but what you need to do is you're going to import your artwork. So you're going to go ahead, hit the plus. You're going to go to upload. And this one we said was saved under Molina. So we're going to hit Molina and open. It's going to take a minute. And it pulled it over. So it's going to come here. And now you have the option to engrave, to cut, to score or ignore. So that is it. That is how you convert your files from Cricut Design Space to a usable SVG image in Glowforge where you can do all four options or all three options to engrave, cut, or score. Hope you guys like my video. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me. If you are thinking about purchasing a Glowforge, and you are a current Cricut user, I would love to be able to help you with a few different steps to get used to Inkscape. Um, that way you're not doing a whole lot, but this video hopefully will help you to not have to stress about learning a new program or purchasing a new program. All right, have a wonderful day. Enjoy Glowforge users.